How's everybody today? Nothing better than a sunny burnout. It's January 9th, it's 18 degrees. We got Noah's truck hooked up, got the trailer, and we're going shopping for cars today. We're doing it old style. We're gonna hit every trailer park and old country road that we can find. Try to find us a hot rod, maybe a classic like the Chevette, you know, Cavalier. So, we're gonna take you guys with us today. So I don't know. So like I was saying, I, uh, I used to drive around and I'd take off and go to cities or trailer parks. Trailer parks is where I'd find my best deals because there's a lot of always abandoned cars or people not selling them and then I'd run right up to the door and ask them. Um, but now today we'll take off, we'll head out into the country. Wearing a shirt? Oh, it's a porn time. Is that guy naked? Uh, you might be. Mm -hmm. He looks like He's either wearing a tan shirt or he's naked. <coughs> is it? Oh my, he is naked. Is he naked? Was he naked? Is he buck ass naked? Buck ass naked. You have a little dick? Well, I, I tried to keep my eyes above the bottom of his belly. Are you serious? He was, oh, I'm dead serious. He was naked? I mean, he was getting lucky. Is that what he said? He said he drives them both and he's not interested in selling. Hey guys, how you doing? Here we are, we stopped, we are going to look at the Chevy pickup truck, an extended cab, it's a beautiful truck, super, super solid underneath. And we're looking for a, a little bit more cosmetic than we wanted to. But while we were here, this is why I always say go out looking. Where do you find a garage in the middle of January with a 40 Ford in it? I'm gonna get it out of the garage, you'll see it in a minute. Oh, we'll go check. 
Marty. We just went right out in town, got a little, little drag race down here, man, got on it. Car gets it, gets a good heater. Um, it had it had a heater, it had a speedometer, it has full moon instrumentation, it has tachometer, everything in the car worked. It was as nice as riding in the brand new truck. That's a smooth car. Luckily, Marty showed it to me. As you can tell by the video, though, he put it away. We couldn't make a deal. I, I wouldn't sell it if I was him for any price. You don't find that. Well, we'll get on the road and get looking. We were, we were here five hours ago, but we ended up striking up a deal with old Marty at the 40 Ford and a couple of trucks he had from, uh, where, where are they from? Montana. So we're here to pick them up and uh, make a deal. I'm getting tired. I need lunch. All right. Hi, guys. How you doing? Well, we wanted to wrap up today's video with, we got here this morning. And I think it was nine o'clock. We just got back into the Church of Choppers. Here it is uh, shortly after 8 p.m. We started out and wanted to pick up a couple of hot, ro hot rods or maybe a Harley. But instead we picked up a couple of old body style Chevy. Picked up a nice two wheel drive one, extended cam. It's from, I think they told us Arkansas. It is super clean. And then back there is uh, OBS, but it's from Montana has a Montana title. It is super clean, 2500. So, isn't quite what we started out with today, but we got a couple of super nice trucks. You'll be seeing in the, some of the videos next couple weeks. We'll let you know where they're at and how they look when we got done with them. It was an eventful day. We seen a 40. I went. I got to go for a ride in a 40 Ford. We seen a, I don't know, a late 70s Charger. Um, Looked at a four-speed Impala, a couple other things. Joe got to see a naked man. So you got, you got to see former GQ model. <laughs> former former JQ, GQ model, I tell you. I tell you what, I've had a lot of stuff happen. We went to the door, but that was the first time we had Grizzly Adams naked. But we've seen it all today. And uh, as you'll see in the video, it's not as easy as it looks. Hopefully my shirt's buttoned straight. All right, guys, we'll see you later. Thanks for riding with us today. We had a lot of fun. Coming out of the woods. Finally. We shouldn't slide through the trees. I mean, if he can keep up the steady pace, we can just follow him out. All right, guys, here we are. We're out deep in the woods. We had to drive my Chevy out through the four wheel drive. Had used the four wheel drive to get my Chevy out here. Uh, the police cruiser wasn't able to make it, but they let us drive out here. Here sets my truck. Um, we got some stills of what went on, but uh, we found it. It's out in some field. They took the tailgate off. I don't know why. If you can come over here and look, they got a log on the gas pedal. They smashed the living shit out of it all inside. Um, I don't know what they did. They got stuck. I'll tell you one thing. I personally have never had to deal with the Holly Police Department, but they've been head and shoulders to help us out, to help us find the truck, because the truck meant a lot to us. So they've helped us out. They're trying to figure out, um, I probably should call Bernie his towing, my best friend there in the towing business, but I don't know, because it's bad. You know, we scraped the sides of my truck just to get here. My truck's got a four inch lift and 35s on it. And I don't know how the hell they got this two wheel drive truck back here, but it's here. They've smashed out every window. I imagine the motor's junk in it. So, kind of crazy. But we'll let you know. Hopefully we can get some footage of the tow truck. Talk to you soon.